How you doing? James Bratton from JB Electric. I'm going to show you guys what we did today. Okay, here's what happened. What we had to run a 20 amp circuit all the way to the backyard. Had to go all the way along the side of the wall here. I'll, I'll continue the rest of this later. But what we did here was penetrated here. Came in with a piece of uh, MC behind the wall there. Came in and dedicated a new circuit. Landed our, our neutrals, landed our grounds, and then uh, dedicated this circuit to a new 20 amp circuit that's going out to his above ground pool so what we did is we put a bubble on this guy and we actually put more one hole straps than necessary along this wall here just to make sure it stays up nice and firm i put a bubble on it to make sure that it stayed nice and straight here we put a pole corner to do a nice tight corner it's always good to put a pole corner when you guys are trying to go around these tight corners here and then what i did is i just did an angle up because I wanted to get it up underneath the bottom of that eave right there, the bottom of these, these, uh, uh, these, this top part of this lattice that's coming across here. So what I did is I took it up with a bend there, a 90, brought it over to here. Now this is where it got a little funky, uh, but what I had to do is I came down, I had to go around that 2x6, then bend it over with almost like a big knockout bend so I could bring it down this post here. Then I terminated it there at this box. From there, I took... Uh, liquid tight we attach it to this post here we brought the liquid tight down into the ground if you can see it down there which goes way down into the ground and then where we have our uh, we buried UF cable so we took our UF my guy dug this for about I guess three hours this morning he dug along here it's kind of hard digging and then we brought it back up over to here to where I put in a new GFI right here 20 amp GFI. It's going to go to this guy here, which is, of course, everything nowadays calls for dedicated, and it's good to have this. I think it's a one horse, one horsepower. Uh, actually, yeah, it's 1.5 horse, 1.5 horsepower. It's a big motor. Uh, comes up out of this guy here. He's going to put a timer in here, so I put this this raised cover here. So he's going to put a timer here, so he can time this, and it'll go on and off when he wants it to. Uh, but we're all done. I also took this reinforcement bar, pounded it way down into the ground, and then I took copper. And put this guy tight up against this guy to keep him firm until they pour concrete. Now we went plastic below ground here until we got to our UF. But here's the guy that he's powering up right here. All right. I got Dave over there drinking a Coke. Goofing off. No, he's doing a good job. All right. Thank you guys for watching our videos. God bless. And uh, have a good day.